Well, it's about time I get going. According to the big hand, it's one minute after, and it's March the 30th. So this is the Geyer Cook Report for B2B Thursday. Welcome. Thanks for joining us today. If you're with us live in the chat room, appreciate you being here. And thanks so much for tuning us in. And be sure to share our content to your friends and neighbors and, and loved ones, all your family members, so they know what you're up to. The topic for today, um, is, I was looking at doing it, another one of those, oh, this is the way to make LinkedIn work for B2B. And I came across this post by Dennis Brown, and, and it talked about other than doing your LinkedIn profile and tips and tricks and et cetera, et cetera. These are the other top B2B lead generation strategies. He's got five of them to crush sales in 2017. And let's get to looking at those. The show notes, which you can get to even right now as we speak, the audio is not there, but the show notes link is there. If you go to the guyercookreport.podbean.com and it'll look like this. Now, when you first bring this page up, he's going to have a pop-up for you about his free ebook to learn how he generated over $20 million in business with LinkedIn marketing and social selling strategies. He's a LinkedIn guru, okay? Dennis Brown, that's his claim to fame. But this time when he wrote the article, he says, hey, what about all the other flavors of lead generation strategy that I don't talk about. So let's do this post and here we go. Okay. He did five of them and you can see in the chart there, we used this as the featured uh, graphic from marketingcharts.com and it talks about email, organic search, social media, paid search, display advertising, and <laughs> none of the above, the not sure, the 3% that just goes, you know, I'm not really sure what's driving the leads, but we're getting some. Anyway, and the top five list, number one, B2B content marketing. Okay, the content creation is the marketing charts graphic there, and it starts with content creation as 85% of the effort. Strategy is 72% of the effort. For the companies that use content marketing, has it become a greater priority? 53% say yeah. So your content, if you're not maybe making the best effort, make the best effort. There's three content marketing tips to help you get started there. And take a look at what he's got there. Excuse the dog, that's to make us look live. The content marketing effort the tips that he's got to get started, give that a, a look there and make sure that you're on with the suggestions that he's doing there, like lead magnets. Like if you're offering um, a subscription to the newsletter, plus if you join the subscription to the newsletter, you get blah, 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 you know, some extra thing, a free trial of something, an online tool, an ebook like Dennis's, a checklist, etc. Number two is email marketing. If you're not using an email mailing list, get one started. Email is still a massive sales tool, especially if you're automating your campaigns and working to build your list. So if that's the goal is to do lead generation through email list, mailing list, that is a plus. Three steps to better B2B email marketing, he says, forget the newsletter. I don't know if I agree with that. The drip campaign and to measure yourself, to, to take a look at how you're performing, to do an A-B test on the best design and the language for your campaigns. So B2B trade show marketing, that's right, trade show. They still have them. You could still be in one. Uh, our Good friend Eileen Smith, which just did a, I guess she'd call it a trade show. It's a um, an event she went to in California, and she's got basicblogtips.com. It's got the information there on how that went. It was a, a major marketing event. And the secret on this is 
you make a targeted offer just for people that are signing up for that show. Like they don't get it any other way than to be on the uh, campaign for that show's attendance. And be sure to market that offer on LinkedIn and Twitter using hashtags. Okay. He says B2B webinars. Now, this is not a business consumer webinar. Don't get these mixed up with those. The B2B lead generation tool is a, a huge uh, lead generation tool, and it's simply sharing what you know with the right people. So if you target your audience, if you've got the right people signed up and participating, and hopefully you'll do that over time with your A-B testing, is going to give you a great B2B webinar. And the secret, the one thing I noticed in here, and I kind of filed it away in the old brain pond, is start your campaign three weeks prior to the webinar. So you do three weeks of pre-webinar marketing. It seems to be the magic number. And that's going to give you the recipe to be successful. Have the webinar happen on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, he also adds. Because Mondays are just too busy. People can't go on Mondays because they're getting everything started. It's just too hectic of a day. And Thursday and Friday is where they're wrapping up all the things they got started on Monday. So Tuesday or Wednesday is going to work the best for you. And the last one, social media marketing. Now, you already know about LinkedIn. And we know that that's where B2B hangs its hat most often. Okay. But there are other channels like videos, gaming, infographics, interactive content, blog posts, mailing lists, GIFs, how-to posts, research reports, articles, white papers, etc. That according, and this information is from 342 B2B marketers that have 41% um, of them with at least 100 million in revenues. Wouldn't that be nice? Then you have accountants going crazy. Um, that's from last November that they did this. So give this post a look. I know I've, I've sped through it and read it too fast. It, it requires a greater in-depth look at this. And the link, as I said, if you go to the guyrecookreport.podbean.com, you can get to the show note links. And that will give you this link that's here in the, in the show. Oops. In the show notes right there. You'll see it. If I can just highlight just that. There we go. And Dennis Brown's link on B2B lead generation, give that a go. I think that you'll uh, have time well spent in examining that. The Geyer Cook Report questions are there, way to improve your brand's recognition and your online presence. Pick out five of those questions, send them in, just like Tish did the other day, and we'll do an interview. We'll record it and set it up and play it back during an episode of the Geyer Cook Report. The start here planning session guide. This is a tool I built this years ago and I've just I keep adding to it but it's basically where do I start? Well you get your pencil, you get your piece of paper and click on this link planning session guide start here and get started. Okay it's got some good brain food in there for you to get started on your new landing page on your website redesign on whatever it is you want to get started. Well you start the the best way to start is with a good planning session and this guide I hope will give you that. Thanks to everyone that's a patron. The patrons that contribute to the show, we love you, appreciate your effort. Thank you for being part of the program and making each and every episode, I guess, possible because Lord knows there's bills to pay. We got to pay Podbean and, and, and all those people. So. Appreciate that contribution and the efforts that um, have also helped out the Geyer Cook Report. Thank you to Fraser Ramsey, Edinburgh Dusters, the company that likes to clean over there in Edinburgh, Scotland. If you got cleaning that gets that needs done because you've rented that flat and you want to clean it up before you rent it again, give Fraser a call. Thanks to Eileen Smith. I mentioned her a minute ago. Her website, one of them, is basicblogtips.com. It's in the show notes right there. And that's got some information there. Almost every day there's new blog tips. And give that a look. You'll enjoy it. There's 
The last one I got there on the list is Friends Just Chatting. It's a Facebook group that has an online presence, and we chat almost every day, except on the weekends. Monday through Friday, they talk about stuff, just whatever's in the news or current technology or where I'm going on holiday. There's no set topic. It's just a conversation, and it's quite enjoyable. Thanks for listening. If you're on YouTube, thanks for watching us. There's a, a link on the the show notes. To, it's a bitly short link, or you can just go to youtube.com, whack guy or cook, and that'll, that'll bring it up. The show is also distributed on Spreaker. It's on iTunes because we're on Podbean. We're on iTunes, and we can show you content on Pinterest now. We've got a board there with Vitamin Hosting Inc. And on Reddit, uh, there's an evaluation question. You notice it says question, not questions. Just one single question. Give that a click and give it a go. Follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. Thanks a lot for being with us today. Come with us and come join us tomorrow on Friday for the Friday wrap-up. And you can sign up and be aware of when the show is going to happen and when we're live if you... Join the channel, firetalk.com, the guy or cook report, that graphic right there. And so if I scroll back up, I can then show you that, again, we're on the March 30th edition. We'll see you on Friday. And, oh, hey, listen to this. Hi, just a quick reminder, the guy or cook report is Monday through Friday at 7 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, Seattle time. You can join the show live at this URL https colon whack whack firetalk.com forward slant the dash guy r cook dash report and as always we'll have the show notes available via https whack whack the guy r cook report dot podbean dot com